I mean, talk to me though, man. When you find yourself down with HCP, what was going through your mind? Because were you a fan of the camp before you got down with the it first, or what? The first thing that went through my mind was, would they stop doing drugs around me? I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. But it was just, um, it was it was surreal. I, I'm not going to lie to you. It was uh, surreal to know that where I come from yeah. and what I've started to grow into and become. Then another thing, being a fan of somebody that I'm now signed to. Mm from Memphis, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that was like, damn, I'm here, I'm really here. Yeah. And I really didn't know these people maybe two, three months ago. So damn. now I'm signed to them through, mm. you know what I'm saying, another friend. And man, I, 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 it must have been my calling because, you know, they signed me, Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I didn't have a mixtape or anything or was doing music before I got to Hypnotize Man. Mm -hmm. Like, that's really what's my start. Yeah, yeah. Like, when I got there, so, I started out with some hard hitters. When you start out with some hard hitters like that, you really, you can't lose. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I started with the all-star team. It's like I, I skipped over everything else and went straight to the pros, like <laughs> Chrome album. <laughs> Juicy uh, and Paul are two of the greatest producers of all right, time. Right, right, right. Knowing I that you were signed to the camp and you had that production that's the, coming see, through See, that's there. what I'm talking about. That, that right there, like, I, when you seeing, seeing these niggas Critique and, and they magic mind, and and I was able to see them create how they create. Yeah, man, it just it's, it just got in my blood. It just got in my blood. Even if I wasn't a rapper, I was becoming one. Come on now, like it, it just it started seeping in my blood, man, and I, it just made me a beast. Just man, you looking at Project Pat in the booth, <laughs> the chat gangster boo, Lord <laughs> Infamous. Rest in peace, Lord. Yes, and crush your mind. You looking at these hard hitters and you know how they get down and you know what they done. So you can't do nothing but, you know what I'm saying, do what you do at your best. You well, know all of y'all in the studio at the same time recording, how was Ooh. that going? What were them studio sessions like, of, Fraser? A lot of weed smoking there, a lot of, lot of, lot of dipping in, yeah, in the corner. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You got your Lord <laughs> level, man. That was some crazy <laughs> sessions, bro. You hear the beat playing in the background, Paul them walking back, and we all right now, H to a positive song. It was magic, man. Like, it was just, it was magic when we got together, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what the world loved about us. We just mm -hmm. all met so well, but we all had different styles and the way we came and approached, approached Paul and Juicy Beat. Yeah. But then when you approaching them beats, you gotta know what to do with them beats. Come on, you man. You know what I'm saying? So, I think we did a good job, pretty much. Yeah. But, um, the sessions was magical, man. It was magical. I mean, Glock and my draws, man. You and Paul going Ooh, I crazy. I forgot about that joint. That Talk was, to that's me. That's when I started getting, that's, that's when they started having no confidence in me to start giving me my solo song. Uh, like, uh, I think my first solo song was Mouth, Write a Chick. It, it came an extra CD on uh, Project Pat Land and SmackDown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was my first solo song, and uh, Glock and my draws, that, what that was on, Paul 16? Yeah, Paul 16. So, yeah, so. Yeah. I mean, yeah. shut your mouth with Project shut Pack, though, man. Come on, Why man. you be doing your but see, that's what a, but see, now, I was listening, too. See, that's the other thing. Yeah. I was listening. That was one you of my be, favorites. You be pulling up stuff I be forgetting about. <laughs> like, wow, shut your mouth. Uh, when Pat came home and touched it. down, what was that like? And then how did that song come about? Shut your mouth. I actually wasn't supposed to be on that song. Mm. Uh, Lord Infamous was supposed to be on, have my verse. It was supposed to be Three Six Mafia and Pat. Yeah. And I think Lord didn't, couldn't make it to the studio or something happened. And I was at the studio. I was always in the right place at the right time. Yes, like, sir. better up. <laughs> <laughs> and she, man, oh. Uh, that's how I got that verse. Eight bars, like I said, I'm the eight bar king. Yes, sir. Me in there, I'm gonna come over with you. I got you. When it's time for going on that bay, though, man. Hey. I mean, what was your mindset then? Had you already been warmed up, or was you? What, what was you at with it? I don't. I don't know. I was. I was scared and confident at the same time. I yeah. was. Uh, I don't know how I felt because I never done this before. Mm. And you getting produced by some of the biggest producers in the world, and you with three six, and you with hypnotized man, you're on this label, and this is the first time you're doing this. This yeah. is the first time. So I didn't know how the people was gonna feel about it. I didn't yeah. know if they were gonna like me. But I just, I went in with my heart. I mm. went in with my knowledge of, you know, what I've been through, what I've seen other people go through, mm. you know what I'm saying? And just put it all in the song mode, and the beats helped a lot. Exactly. <laughs> you know and shit, all that is just, that's, that's my heart. Like, I went all in. 
My God. I, I, you, you got all of me on going on that base. So, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I feel. That's like a real, that's why it's so gutter. That, that's, that's all me. Yeah. That's all me. What I've been through and what I've seen other people go through. So that, that album meant a lot to me. You know My what I'm God. saying? What was the reception in Memphis, though, man? What man, was it like putting it down for the was, town with that? It was going crazy. And yeah. that's what really gave me my confidence to keep moving forward. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They was going crazy. And then the, my first people that really were where it clicked it like, oh, okay, I might mm -hmm. be doing the right thing. When I got here, mm -hmm. I didn't know that was like the first time I, after the album I came to ATL. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We were back and forth anyway. Young Bloods and mm -hmm. Killer Mike. They were okay. the first big people to me that said, hey, that album is the shit. And once I was like, damn. When the, that meant so much to me because yeah. I didn't, you know how you be undecided. Like, yeah. I don't know what people like. Ain't nobody saying shit about it. Mm. Come on. And when it seemed like when they brought that to me, everybody started saying something about it. I, mm -hmm. I mean, when you went crazy on that intro, though, man, I mean, what did that wow. mean to you? What was it that made you say, let me lay it I, on the I, line? I was, I was thinking of the intro before I even got done with the album because I think we did the intro last, actually. Damn. Uh, I think we recorded the intro last. And, uh, mm -hmm. Man, I feel like my confidence was up then, so it might sound different from the rest of the song because that was the last song. I had a little, little practice in, so yeah, man, I feel like gorilla beast. My God, that's how I felt in the booth. So I was like, I'm gonna tear this motherfucker apart. Come on now, and and I think that's how it came across. Yeah, 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 that's how it came across. I mean, so, you and Lil Wayne going crazy too, yeah. though, man. I yeah. mean. What was y'all chemistry like when y'all got in there rubbers in that bay? I mean, we both from the bay. Yeah. So that tell you right there. Uh, Lil White grew up maybe. It's crazy because I never met him until we got two hypnotized minds. Mm -hmm. I never met him until we got two hypnotized minds. And uh, he a little younger than me, so I can see why we never met. We probably weren't rocking, but it was yeah. maybe five miles down the road he grew up, but I never met him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And man, we go together like Ebony and Ivory. Mm. Crazy, you know crazy. What I'm saying? Before we had did it together, so they put us together. Well, they didn't put us together. We were both solo artists on the label, but we was both from the same area, so we might as well just mm -hmm. just rock out, man. You know no, what I'm saying? Shout out to Lil White, man. Yes, sir. 